Hola, amigos. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop1987. This is my review for a day. And today's review, ladies and dudes, well, my friends, it's that time once again for another movie review. And yes, I will admit, I will feel my regrets for not seeing this movie from last year. And yes, I will agree with all of you that this is one of the best Pixar films so far that has fantastic animation and also fantastic language that came from Mexico. So for my next movie review is Coco. And I will say Coco is starting to become one of my next favorite Pixar films. And this is a pretty darn enjoyable movie to watch. But sadly this movie does have a little bit of flaws here and there. But yeah I will tell you that in a moment. For my strongest points my weakest points wise. But anyway this is a pretty darn good film. And no wonder this movie did win two fantastic Oscars. One for Best Animated Feature and the other for Best Original Song called Remember Me. I just like that sad one that came from close to the end of the movie. If you know what I mean. But anyway, let's get started on my next movie review. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, here is my next movie review of Coco. So anyway, let's get started with the main plot of the story. It's a story about this 11 or 12 year old boy named Miguel who is on his most important journey of, of his life for the Day of the Dead to find his long lost great great grandfather. The great great grandfather that his family had left behind or truly forgotten for over a hundred years ago. And he needs a little help from his pet dog who has no fur at all. So he needs to do it right away before the sunrise will come up from the Day of the Dead. And that's all I can say about the main plot of the story. And I guess everybody wants to know is, I'm sure everybody is so darn concerned about this, what the heck do I think about this movie called Coco? Well, to tell you the truth this, ladies and dudes, I think this is a pretty darn good movie to watch. And like I said, I am very darn sorry that I haven't seen this movie in theaters. Because I really don't want to waste my money to get one single ticket from seeing another good film that came from last year, if you know what I mean. I did have money trouble from many many years but that's in the past but since I seen it now I will say it's a pretty darn good movie to watch and my next favorite Pixar film that I did see so far I really do love Up and the two incredible movies and I'll tell you about my most favorite Toy Story film that's coming really soon whenever I can get there but anyway, let's get back to Coco. I will say it had a pretty good storyline for the most part. I mean, it had a very good storyline for the most part. I will say for, for the characters, I had mixed feelings. Just mixed. And I will say the animation is so darn beautiful, so darn unique, and so darn well done so many ways. Um, I do love... The, the songs that came from in the film, like Remember Me and Porto Loco, if I got that song right. It does have a few good Mexican songs here and there. And this is one of the best Pixar films that I've ever seen so far, where they took their risk of adding 
the Mexican language in this film. And I do speak Mexican language just a little bit, but not that much. So anyway, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points of Coco. Okay, for my strongest points for this movie is a tie. Just a tie between the animation and Pixar had taken a risk of adding a few languages in this movie. I will say for the animation, it was spot on. And it's not really outdated at all. I mean, the animation is so darn breathtaking. It was the most beautiful animation I have ever seen so far in Pixar history. I mean, it was so darn well done. It was shiny. It was so darn unique. It's a very rare film that featured good animation. I just love it all from start to finish. It's hard for me to say about animation. It was so darn mind-blowing. So that's all I could say about animation. So for my first strongest point of this movie is the animation. And the second strongest point for this movie is they did take a risk of adding a few languages in this film. And I'm talking about Mexican language. And like I said before, I did speak Spanish just a little bit. And I know a few of them here and there. Like, hola means hello. And amigos means friend. And adios means goodbye. And there are a few new words that I'm trying to pronounce. Well, thanks to the song that I learned. What is it? Poloco? I wish I'd know what Poloco means in Mexican. And the other word I remember is Yaremo. Another word I that's kind of new to me, but I don't know what it means. But if you guys can leave a link down below and teach me what those two new words mean in in the Mexican language, I would be happy about it. So I will say for my strongest points for this movie is the animation and the Mexican language. I'm very darn pleased of this film with the fantastic language and animation. Well, you guys get the picture. And now let's go on to my most weakest point of the movie. And like I said, it's the characters, but I do have mixed feelings with them. The only good characters I could trust is Miguel and Miguel's great-great-grandfather without spoiling who he is and Miguel's great-grandmother and that cool-looking dog and that cool-looking jaguar spirit-like thing and that one cool actress who's a fantastic storyteller. Those were the best characters I cared about in the film. Um, as for the other characters, I could care less about Miguel's family. You know, the family who came from the living. They were so darn pointless to the film, and I really don't care about them at all. Except for, yeah, to tell you the truth is, there's one character I really do hate in the movie and I'll never forgive her for doing terrible things on her family. And that is uh, Miguel's grandmother. I don't know her name, but I will never forgive her for being overprotected to her family and, you know, keep them away from music. And I will never forgive her for smashing poor Miguel's guitar. The guitar that he worked so hard to create. It was just... I really hate that woman. That woman needs to pay for her selfish behavior. 
and disrespecting so many people who loves music. So yeah, I will say Miguel's family is one of the main weak points of the film. I will say for the ancestors of Miguel's, they were okay in the film. At least they did something for the movie. And I guess another major weak point I found with this movie is I wish there was one scene in the movie where that jaguar spirit type thing it needs to do its job without Miguel's ancestry family to get involved in it. Yeah. Yeah, there was one scene in the movie where Miguel's ancestry family had followed the jaguar, you know, to do its own job. I just wish that um Miguel's ancestry family should not be a part of it and just let the jaguar do its job. You know, something that involves misunderstanding. What will happen if the Jaguar was truly a threat to the Day of the Dead and, you know, going after Miguel and Hector and that dog for some unknown reason? You know, something like that. So those are the only two weak points that I found. Is Miguel's family and I wish there was one scene in the movie that needs to be changed. And that is it for my strongest points and the weakest points of the film. And now let's go on to the characters. I will go with the three characters who deserve to be the best parts about the film. And it's truly the minor characters. I think minor characters were truly the best parts about the movie in my own opinion. Since they only have a small role in the film. The first character I want to talk about is that really cool actress who is a fantastic storyteller. You know, the one who has that spiritual monkey. I really like her look, her design, her personality and attitude. And she is a fantastic storyteller. I like the part where she's trying to make up a story that featured the actresses and the props. I think that was pretty darn well done and very darn creative, but it sucks we only know her for a short period of time in that film. I want to get to know more of that character. She's just pure awesomeness. And the second character I want to talk about is that cool looking giant jaguar like that creature. I like its look, its design. It looks like a bad A-word character that I will never forget in movie history. A jaguar that won't hurt anybody. Since it belongs to Miguel's great-great-grandmother. Yeah. It's just big and huge and giant. And it's pretty darn friendly. It won't hurt anybody. And that was a pretty darn good sign. So I have nothing else to say about that cool looking big giant kitty that won't hurt anybody for the city of the dead if you know what I mean and the last and final character is the most important character that's truly the most caring part in the whole entire movie in my own opinion and that is Mama Coco Miguel's nice sweet great grandmother I love this character to death. She is the only character that Miguel can trust in his whole entire family. I mean, she's very darn sweet, she's lovable, she's kind and generous, and she does have a very good heart. And I will never forget the part at the near end, without spoiling anything, there was a heartwarming moment between her and Miguel when they sang Remember Me. It's very darn touching. It's very darn heartwarming. And it give you a nice feeling in your heart. That's all I could say about Miguel's beautiful great grandmother, Mama Coco. She's one of the most nicest characters that you'll ever know in movie history. And now let's go on to my final thoughts of this lovely film. Overall, Coco deserves to be one of the best Pixar movies of all time so far in Pixar history. It had a good storyline, great character. Well, I will say I have mixed feelings with the characters. Uh, it had beautiful animation. It had a very good score. 
very good songs, very good languages from Mexico, and this is one good film that you will never forget in movie history. So I decided to give this movie a 9 out of 10. It's going to make you cry. Big time. And that's all I could say about my movie review of Coco. I hope you enjoyed this movie review. And join me next time for my next movie review to come. When I return in theaters to see Christopher Robin. This is one good movie that I will never forget in movie history that involves live action. And that's it for now, so I'll see you guys later. Adios, amigos!